Hey everybody, it's K-Ball from Zurb. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about the responsive menu plugin from Foundation. As you may know, Foundation has multiple different types of menus, drop downs, drill downs, accordions, and those different menus behave differently on different screen sizes. Drop downs work great on desktop, but aren't so good on mobile, whereas the drill down menu was practically invented on mobile and popularized by iOS. With the responsive menu plugin, you don't have to pick just one. You can have your menu depend on screen size. I could tell you a whole lot more, but it'll be easier to just jump into the code. So let's do it. First up, let's go really quickly through the basic menu plugins. So the first one we've got is a drop down. Uh, for all of these menus, uh, they're formatted as lists. So you have a UL uh, containing some sub LIs. Uh, the reason we're doing drop downs or accordions or drill downs is because we are planning to nest. So uh, they're nested you are LI, so you have an LI, an A tag, which is what's going to show up as your item to select, and underneath that, for submenus, a list. So I've just put together a set of basic ones here, you can see, um, and the result is this output down here. All that it takes to do this is you have a menu uh, class, um, some styling from the drop-down class and the data drop-down menu attribute that tells the JavaScript this thing is a drop-down. Now we've added a little bit of extra CSS just to make this pretty, nothing big, um, and we have just the basic JavaScript instantiation. If you wanted to change this from a drop-down to, let's say, an accordion, a vertical accordion, what you would do is very simple. The first thing you're gonna do is change the data attribute to let the JavaScript know. So instead of a drop down menu, I want it to be an accordion menu. And then we need to change the styling a little bit. So we need to call this a, an accordion and it's, and it's vertical. That's all it takes. And we have a vertical accordion menu here. It's interactive. Uh, it's using the same markup, just slightly different data attributes and classes on the parent container. All of the menus use the same markup, and that's gonna be key because that lets us make them responsive and different by screen size. The final one to show real quick is the drill down menu. So let's show that real quick. We change accordion to drill down. We change accordion menu here to drill down. Oops. Um, and there we go. This drill down menu is something that is very common on mobile screens. Uh, it was popularized by iOS, where you click on a menu and it writes over the existing menu, uh, covers over it. So great, those are your three basic menus. But as we talked about just a minute ago, they're different for screen size. Some of them work really well on mobile devices, some don't. I wouldn't recommend using lots of drop downs on a mobile device, but a drill down works great. Whereas this drill down looks pretty awkward at this size on a full screen. So how do we make them responsive? Well, I mentioned that they all use the same markup. And what that means is that we can use this set of markup and just tell Foundation, hey, this is actually a responsive menu, not a, uh, not one or the other of these. So how would we do that? Uh, what we start with is the data attribute. So instead of having data drill down, data accordion menu, or data drop down menu, we're gonna change this to data responsive menu. And we're gonna pass it what we want it to be. So I'm gonna say we want this to be a drill down uh, for small, and then for larger screens, I want it to be a drop down. And because of that, I want to change these classes. I want the class to be vertical for small and horizontal when it's uh, actually probably not large for medium and up anytime that it is a drop down. And with that, with those, that simple change of that line of code, now we're on a large screen, we have a drop down. But if we are to resize our screen down, once we get below that medium breakpoint, it switches nicely into a drill down menu just like that. And you're not limited to just two of these. You can actually do however many you want. So say that we wanted to, instead of just having a drop down on medium, what if we wanted to have an accordion on medium? We'll go back to our vertical for that and just have the drop down on large. We can do that too. The data responsive menu attribute will accept any number of uh, values, each with their own breakpoint. So we're gonna change this to medium accordion. 
and then a large drop down. And what we see is right now we have a drop down where we must be on a large screen. As we scroll down, we switch to that accordion. We scroll down even further. Now we're in a drill down. It's like magic. Let's take this one step further. In our drop down, we've got this nice horizontal space. It's not taking up too much, but once we get down to these smaller sizes, it's taking up a lot of screen real estate. A common UI pattern is to hide menus like this behind something like a hamburger main, uh, icon for mobile devices. Luckily, the foundation responsive toggle does exactly that. So what we're gonna do is create a little toggle here that's gonna show up on medium and small devices and let you toggle in those menus. So let's start that. So that first is, we're just gonna style it as a title bar. And it's gonna have, for now, let's just have a hamburger menu. So button, class, menu icon. All right, so that's in place, but now we want to make it responsive. We want to make it only show up for smaller, and we want it to uh, to actually do the toggle of are these thing menus going to show or not. What we do is we add the data responsive toggle attribute, um, and we point it to the menu that we're being creating, making responsive. So in this case, the example menu. You can see that this is already hidden in this title bar. The responsive toggle knows that it needs to hide uh, when it's not needed. Uh, we're gonna make sure that that button is the thing that does the toggle. Uh, and then right now, by default out of the box, this actually, I believe, just hides for small. But we want it to affect medium as well because that accordion is pretty ugly. So we're gonna change it. We're gonna say data hide for equals medium. All right, what have we got? So we're in our large screen. We've got our drop downs. Resize the screen down a little bit. Oh, did I do something wrong? Data hide for large. That's what I did wrong. We only want it to hide for large. Okay, back to large. Here it was. Scroll down to medium and suddenly we're hiding behind this menu icon, which lets us show our menus. So now you've learned how to take a menu and make it responsive by changing just a single line of code. And you've even learned how to hide it away on mobile devices behind a hamburger icon or something similar. If you wanna learn more, if you wanna get a more comprehensive view of everything that Foundation has to offer, try one of our intro webinars. We offer them every month and they're taught by the same team that creates Foundation. You'll have the chance to ask questions and learn from the experts. Hope to see you there.